more than 100 vulnerable women have received material assistance from the UN Women and Partners to enable them acquire skills and to start up small businesses. The official ceremony to implement the Second Chance Education took place at the Yaoundé 6 Women Empowerment Center this Wednesday, September 8, 2021, under the auspices of the Ministry of Women Empowerment and the Family. Thanks to the UN Women and other partners, we have been working with MinProf since 2019. So today is a practical implementation of the project. In fact, this activity is taking place under a project called Second Chance Education. So they are being given another chance to build resilience, to bounce back into society in spite of all the stresses, all the difficulties and challenges that they have gone through. All is not yet lost. They have been given this other opportunity. Maybe they were even at the end of this uh, crisis, they might be richer than before because they would have learned traits, they would have got equipment to enable them to start up their own businesses and be autonomous or independent financially. We call it economic empowerment. The project has taken into consideration the necessary component that may not leave any refugee or internally displaced woman behind. As you can see, a lot of sewing machines to train on the spot. There is a provision for agriculture, uh, computers, for ICT training, and uh, a host of other activities that will help these women generate income for their sustenance and to give them hope. These beneficiaries shall forever remain grateful to their donors who are extending tentacles to every part of Cameroon. A project that is targeting women that are experiencing conflict from the northwest and southwest region and uh, from the far north and uh, also in the eastern region. So this project generally targets uh, those affected by the conflict and the project is still in a pilot phase. And uh, thanks to the financial support from UNHCR, we have been able to extend this project to the center and to the uh, littoral region. That's why we are here today to start the project in the central region with supporting, equipping the women's empowerment center so that they can train these women who are vulnerable to become empowered. Young ladies who could no longer further their education due to the persistent crisis in the northwest and southwest regions can benefit from the second phase of the second chance education. For this second phase, we are targeting 5,000, and in the first phase, we already reached almost 12,000. And uh, these uh, beneficiaries are women between 5 to 25 years old who are school dropouts. Bonit Cameroon is one of the active partners of UN Women with specific rules. Six Steps Outreach Network, which was actually created in 2010, has been working with uh, women and other vulnerable groups such as IDPs, refugees, and we have actually been also uh, fostering women empowerment, economic empowerment most especially. And this is one of the reasons why we had to come into partnership with UN Women in the context of Second Chance Education, and which of course the project has received funding from UNHCR, and the more reason why we are also involving more of refugees uh, in this project. And so in the context of this project, uh, Big Steps will be involved in empowerment of vulnerable women and girls, especially IDPs and refugees, we would also be uh, facilitating access and obtention of birth certificates and identity cards for refugees and uh, IDPs so that they can be able to pursue other uh, dreams, especially education-wise, uh, business-wise. There are measures taken to ensure the sustainability of this project. We also, uh, in this context, will be forcing community governance mechanisms that enhance uh, collaboration of the community and the project owners so that we can sustain the project even without funding uh, from partners such as UNHCR and UN Women. And also we will be making sure that we protect children and women who are going to be involved at every level of this uh, project. That is why we have a nursery uh, there. We also have even dignity kits for women. We have, you know, uh, computers which uh, we have uh, donated. And also we have sewing machines and many other uh, things that are involved uh, in this project. In the days ahead, other earmarked regions of the country shall be visited. Big Steps will be accompanying UN Women and UNHCR in the littoral center, southwest, northwest, far north, Adamawa, and east region as far as second chance is concerned. Economic empowerment of the woman reduces dependency rates in the society. <laughs>